Well, I've, the Dreyfus Affair involved the cast of hundreds and went on for 12 years. Um, so it's, the important thing is to just narrow the focus and, and get at the heart of what it was. And at the heart of it, the Dreyfus Affair was an espionage story and then a cover-up. Um, and my novel tells the story through uh, the lens of uh, Colonel Georges Picard, who was the youngest colonel in the French army, a high flyer of 40, very attractive, highly intelligent man, spoke six languages, corresponded with Dostoevsky, who was a friend of Gustav Mahler. Uh, he um, was uh, a tutor of uh, Captain Alfred Dreyfus, at the Ecole Supérieure de Guerre in Paris. Uh, he, was, he helped arrest Dreyfus when uh, the French intelligence discovered a spy working for the Germans. He attended Dreyfus's secret court martial and the degradation ceremony in Paris in January 1895, where he was stripped of his insignia of rank. And then, extraordinarily, Picard was put in charge of the intelligence unit, the statistical section that attract Dreyfus down. And about nine months after Picard had taken over, they discovered a new document which suggested there was still a German spy operating in France. And at that point, Picard began to realize that something seemed to have gone wrong and that perhaps Dreyfus was innocent after all. Uh, he carried out an investigation. He discovered the real traitor. He went to his superiors and said, we have the wrong man on Devil's Island. They told him to shut up. And he realized that the reason that they were so anxious not to bring Dreyfus back was because the evidence against him was fabricated. Picard, for his pains, was shipped off to Tunisia and ordered on a suicide mission, at which point he gave the information that he knew, the secret information, to a French politician and uh, to Emile Zola, who wrote Jacques. Picard himself was then arrested. Uh, and so the story is the Dreyfus affair, but from a, a different perspective. And, and Dreyfus himself is hardly a character in my novel. He's an offstage presence uh, on Devil's Island. Um, and it wasn't until uh, 1906 that the whole, that Dreyfus was finally exonerated, and so was Picard, who by that time had served more than a year in prison himself. Uh, so it's an extraordinary story with the amazing merit that all of it is true.